chorizo curry leaves and relish in a pasta. Sounds very bizarre, but I assure you it works. This is a recipe that's in my latest book, The Weeknight Cookbook, and it's been so popular. First up, we need to heat a pan on a medium heat and I'll add some extra virgin olive oil, about one tablespoon. You don't need too much oil at this stage because the oil's going to come out of the chorizo. I'll need one chorizo sausage and I love the flavour of chorizo in this recipe because it gives it a garlic flavour and also a smoked paprika flavour. So I'm going to cut them into thin rounds and the thinner you cut it, obviously, the faster it's going to cook. And I want this to also go slightly crispy. See all those little fatty parts in the chorizo? That is a good quality chorizo and it's also going to give flavour to our sauce. So in with the oil along with two cloves of garlic that I'll just bruise and then finely slice. Now I won't add my garlic to the pan yet. I want it to start to sizzle and get some colour on this chorizo before I add it. If you add your garlic now, it will burn. So I'm just going to give that a quick toss. This is a really good quality non-stick pan and nothing is going to stick. Perfect. And while that's frying up, I'll get on to preparing my tomato. So one ripe tomato that I'm just going to cut into small chunks. And I use a combination of tomato relish and fresh tomato because the relish is going to give this dish a vinegary, sweet flavour and the tomato is going to release liquid, giving us a sauce. Okay, our chorizo is looking good, but before we continue on with this, I need to get the pasta in because it's only going to take seven minutes. I'm going to use some penne pasta. You can use any short pasta of your choice. And we'll just take the lid off. And we'll add our pasta. Plenty. We'll give that a stir. And whenever you're cooking pasta, always season your water with lots of salt. Two big handfuls. Okay, we'll bring this back up to the boil, so I'll pop that lid back on. Chorizo is looking really crispy now, so we can add our garlic into the oil there. And this is pretty much the only critical part of this recipe, is to not burn the garlic. So you do want to work quite quickly. Then we're going to add our tomatoes. Nice sizzle there. That almost halts the cooking and it won't burn. And now for the curry leaves. These curry leaves are fresh, so fragrant. If you can't get your hands on fresh, you can use dried, or if you get a really big bunch of them, they freeze well. So there's few options there. It does make a difference to the end result. They're so delicious. And you don't need too much of it to get that flavor in it. So one stalk is plenty. Okay, it's looking good. And now for our tomato relish. A few generous spoonfuls of that can go in. Use a good quality tomato relish, one that has spices through it. Tomato, obviously, lots of vinegar is a really nice idea. And then we're going to deglaze with some white wine. Now give that one last stir and just allow that wine to bubble away and reduce by a third and then that sauce is done. So all we need to do now is wait for that pasta to finish cooking. We want it to be al dente and then we can toss it in this delicious sauce. Okay, the tomatoes have broken down, the sauce is reduced, so let's finish this off. Pasta is cooked. So we'll take this lid off. How funky is this lid? I love it. We're going to strain most of the water away from the penne pasta and then we'll add it directly into our pan. Now allow some of this water to go into the pan because it really is going to round out our sauce. So one more spoonful. And speaking of rounding out the sauce, I also love to add a small knob of butter. So it's about 10 grams of butter. We'll just break up into our pasta. We'll just give that a quick toss. And now I want to add some parsley and some parmesan. The parsley can just be roughly chopped. So we'll take the stalks away and then just run your knife through three sprigs of parsley. And we'll pop that 
into our pasta along with lots of parmesan. So I'll add some now and I'll add some later. So we want about a small handful of parmesan to mix through the pasta. And then because this is a nice large pan, I'm able to toss everything together to coat each strand of pasta. How good does that look? All right, let's plate up. So get a nice generous amount of the pasta and the chorizo sausage. And don't forget those curry leaves because that is what makes this quite unique. Finally, some extra parmesan over the top and some freshly cracked pepper. There you go, pasta with chorizo, relish and curry leaves. Sounds very strange, like I said at the beginning, but try it. You will love it just as much as I do. Mmm, so delicious.